Hey guys, be sure to press like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about loaning money, whether it be to relatives or friends in the Philippines or whatever. Um, as most of you know, most people know, don't loan money. It's just the worst thing you can do. Um, my girlfriend a long time ago, she was asked by one of her relatives if she would loan some money to her. And my girlfriend said yes. And at the time, I was in the U.S., and I said, I wouldn't do it. I don't trust this girl. I don't think she's going to pay us back. As a matter of fact, I even told the girl to her, to her face through video that I don't think she's going to pay her back. Well, guess what? Sure enough, she didn't. And not only that, I found out later on, and my girlfriend found out later on, that she borrowed almost a million pesos off of a lot of people. She had to take off and actually... I think she actually took off and went to Mindanao to get away from all the people that she um, borrowed money from because she had borrowed from literally everybody. She went f around to everybody, hitting them up for money, and then took off with the money and just disappeared. So it's a common occurrence here for somebody to go around here to borrow money and just not pay you back. And it happens quite often. If you're dumb enough to loan them money, they're going to be smart enough to take off with your money. Let me just put it to you that way. And also in families, and let me just say this, if you want to make enemies with a family member and your girlfriend's family, loan them money because you'll, you'll surely make enemies with them. You're better off not loaning them money and have them get a little ticked off at you than loan them money and you'll be ticked off at them because it's, it's sure to happen sooner or later. It's going to happen. A lot of people just don't pay back over here because they figure you're a family member. Okay, you know, I don't have to pay them back. I'll pay them back whenever, which means never, you know, and it's just the way it works over here. Um, I loaned money one time to my ex-wife's family for their college and stuff, and they promised me. They swore up and down they were going to pay me back. Never got the money back, you know. The more you loan, the more you're just going to lose, Okay. You want to loan somebody 20, 40, 100 bucks or something like that, just give it to them. You know, if you can afford to give it to them, just give it to them. That way there, you don't, you, you, you know, no harm done, you don't make an enemy. If you want to make an enemy, loan them money. <laughs> you know, seriously, in the Philippines it's that bad. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that all Filipinos are scam artists. It's just that when somebody's desperate for money, sometimes what happens is, they go around looking to borrow money, and the first person they're going to go to is you because you're the foreigner in the family, and they, you know, they'll hit you up and they'll tell you some sob story or whatever. You know, if you see a dire need, a kid is sick, somebody's in the hospital, just give them the money. You know, don't expect it back. Don't. You know, if you're wealthy enough that you can give them the money, otherwise, don't give it to them, or just make a donation to the family, small donation. Say, hey, listen, you know, here's twenty bucks or something like that, or here's fifty bucks. You know, whatever you can afford and say, here, listen, take this here. You don't have to pay me back. I, I don't have enough money to loan you that, that, that type of loan. You're better off doing something like that so you don't make enemies. You know, and I, and I say this because you don't want to make enemies with your family. And if your girlfriend's pressuring you to loan money, then, then she's probably a scam artist or she's, or she's being pressured by somebody. And just say, you have to learn to say no. The best thing you can do is learn to say no. You know, when somebody comes up and asks you, hey, can I, can I borrow money? No. <laughs> you know, just say no. It's, it's as easy as that. It really is. You know, and a lot of Americans, you know, we feel bad for these people and stuff like that. And that's okay. You, you, you don't want, like I said, you want to give somebody a, a few bucks or something, just give them a few bucks. But the, there are some, like, relatives that they don't care whether they're your relative or not by marriage. They just want to rip you off. They don't care. They don't care. They're not gonna, they have no, plan, no plans, no intentions of ever paying you back, but they'll ask you for the money. And we have those type of people in, in my girlfriend's family too, and she tells me. She goes, she, she'll never pay us back. She has no means to pay us back. Or you know, the girl will say, I want to start a business or whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. They're just not going to pay you back, most likely. And, you know, and I, I say that about probably about... 90% of the people won't pay you back here. I mean, when I, like, I've loaned money to my neighbors and stuff like that, and most of the time I've told them to keep it. You know, and when, when they were supposed to pay us back, they paid us back. 
they were, they, you know, because they're very close with us. They know us. We know them. We know that they'll pay us back. We know that they're good, upstanding people, you know, but very few people are like that out there. And, and you know, like I said, I, I, I'm not trying to sound like I'm putting down Filipino people. I'm just put. Uh, what I'm saying is they, they just don't have the ability to pay you back. So just be careful, guys, when you're out there, you know, and, and somebody hits you up for some money or something, or if you, you know, your girlfriend's family or parents hit you up for money or something like that, or you, you, you subsidize, a, you know, you, you, you give your girlfriend a loan for a store or something like that. Be careful because you might not get paid back because that business might go on to somebody else. Now, I'm gonna, I have a letter. I, I wrote to the person and asked them if I could read the letter on, on, um, on my vlog. And I'm hoping that I get permission so I can read it to you guys over the coming days. It's a really interesting letter and it kind of it kind of shows you, you know, what happen what can happen in a family and how loans can be dealt with and how you can lose all your money. And it's not it's it's kind of a sad letter actually because it puts a lot of pressure sometimes on certain people in the family because like the girl, she's gonna pick her fam, her her parents over you if it comes to between the two. She's gonna pick her fa her family over you, ninety percent of the time, you know. So you have to be careful to who you loan money to because, you know, when you get mad at some, if you get mad at somebody for not paying you back and it's her parents, or somebody in her family or something, chances are she's gonna pick them over you. So just be careful, you know. I, I I'm just trying to protect you guys. When I say this, I say I, I say this with you guys in mind, with with your, you know, I, I just worry about you guys because a lot of the newbies come over here and and they feel like they can throw money around willy nilly like it's going out of style. If you want if you want to lose all your money fast, loan it out, give it to your girlfriend. <laughs> you, you know, that's the way you will lose it the fastest. You know, you want to help out your girlfriend a little bit, sure, help her out if it's going to benefit both of you. Okay, if it's going to benefit you guys to start your family when you get married or if you move in together, whatever you guys plan on doing, you know, that's great. But be careful. A lot of guys come over here and they're so damn naive, it's incredible. I see this naivety. As soon as they get off the plane, man, they're, 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 they're throwing money around. Act like you don't have any money from the get-go. That's the best advice I can give you. Act like you don't have a lot of money. Yeah, I got a little bit of money, but I don't have a lot. You know, I have enough to keep us going, you know, but I don't have enough to support your whole family. Otherwise, you'll have the whole family moving in. I'm lucky enough that I do have some extra money that I can throw around and I can help the family a little bit. I'm blessed in that in that regard a little bit. You know, not, I don't have a ton of money, but I, I can help out her family. And I don't mind helping them because of this. Because they help me back. That's the difference. A lot of families, that doesn't happen here. My, my, my girlfriend's family, the people, are very grateful for when I helped them, you know. And I, I couldn't get thanked enough from them. And I'm serious when I say that. They help me do things around here. They, they, they do all types of things. They clean up. They, they do all types of stuff for me. They help me all the time. If I'm sick, something like that, they, they'll be the first ones there for me. And that's, that's different, okay. If you see, you kind of have to kind of, Feel that out where you're at with the family and stuff like that, but don't ever entrust somebody so much that you're willing to give them a whole bunch of money to hold or something like that. Don't do that. Be careful, guys, when you're loaning out money. Anyway, guys, I just want to throw that out there. I'm hoping I get this answer from this email because I do want to read this email over the next couple of days, and we'll cover this a little bit more. Okay, we'll cover it a little bit more in another vlog also. But anyway, guys, if you guys got any stories that you'd like to share in the comment section, about a tragedy that happened with you guys from a loan that you loaned the family or, or an ex-wife or, or a girlfriend or, or how you got scammed by somebody, please share that in here, guys. Or even if it's a good story, you know, because I'm not trying to say on here that Filipinos are bad people and they're all going to rip you off. The majority of people here are good people, but some of them just can't afford to pay you back. It doesn't mean that they're, they're bad because they didn't pay you back. It just means that they needed some money desperately to take care of something in, in a lot of cases maybe they needed to buy food maybe, maybe they need to buy you know milk for their baby or something like that or, or for a hospital bill or something like that I'm not saying everybody's bad I'm not saying that okay like I said the majority of, of Filipino people they are the sweetest kindest people out there
but they just don't have the means to pay you back. So be careful. God bless, guys. Take care.